Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for December 19th, 2019. Well, I got to tell you this morning, well, actually last night, I was just kind of chuckling. Um, you cannot make this stuff up. <laughs> last night, why, you know, well, first off, here we have a market that is... Uh, consolidating at record highs um, just a tremendous bullish market um, a tremendous economy that we're looking at and at the same time um, while that is going on the house is voting to impeach the president while the president is taking the stage at a sold-out rally boy I gotta tell you <laughs> You just can't make that stuff up. But the good news is, the good news is, no matter what, how you come down on that political drama, and I'm not trying to make a statement one way or another on that political drama, what you do have to appreciate in this market is the fact that the market is largely just shrugging it off and ignoring um, that political drama, at least at this point. And as you can see, the bulls remain um, solidly in control beautiful upside uptrend we are consolidating here just a little bit and it all depends on how you draw that trend you know if you started that trend back here we might look at like that if we throw this area out of that trend but nonetheless we are very 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 bullish in this market and any rest or consolidation in here I actually think is even very uh, even more bullish because what it's showing is that the bears really don't want to sell there's there's no um there's seems to be no fear in the market there seems to be no inclination or desire of the bulls to uh sell take profits anything we had a little bit of a sideways push yesterday and a little bit of a right at the last bit of the day a little bit of a push down but honestly that didn't hurt this chart at all we are remaining um, in this uh, consolidating pattern above trend and above support levels in the dow this morning we do get enough economic data and earnings data that we may actually get some movement here we'll look at that in just a second let's take a look at the spy spy same thing just shrugging off all of this political drama um, holding in its trend looking pretty darn good any rest consolidation in here I think remains very very bullish just really showing that nobody is interested in selling at least at this point we're holding in here nice and strong bulls are in control trend is up got to give this one up to the bulls here um, even though they did rest a little bit more yesterday and kind of bounced around and, and by the way I, I did mention the high likelihood that we would just kind of consolidate yesterday um, because there really wasn't much for the market to react to so that's kind of what we got not that I was predicting that just looking at the details of the market and just expecting that consolidation to continue to slide sideways. Let's take a look at the queues. Now the queues um, pushed up high. They made new record highs yesterday, pushing up. Uh, but then by the end of the day, settled back down. Here, once again, we are holding a pretty substantial trend. Um, strong bulls in control. Any rest consolidation or even pullback here really doesn't hurt this uh, trend at all. Uh, doesn't really hurt the market. So any kind of consolidating move in here really doesn't hurt us um, in any way, shape, or form. At least at this point, unless we get some kind of a news or event that triggers and, and, and um, inspires the bears. And I'm just not seeing that here in the market right now. Let's take a look at IWM. Um, IWM also holding up quite well. It's um, got, I need to clean this chart up a little bit, but holding up quite well, looking very, very good. The trend is holding up strong, as you can see, and we are testing some resistance levels in the chart. And yesterday, we had a little bit of selling in the that um, IWM, and you can see we're just testing these low levels of, of that pullback all the way back here, trying to gain enough energy to pop through but by the end of the day we pushed back higher um, which was interesting that IWM was 
pushing back higher while the rest of the market was pushing down. But kind of keep in mind, you know, that could turn into a hanging man pattern, but it could also just indicate that we're going to continue to consolidate over here toward trend, looking for that inspiration maybe to pop on out. So keep a close eye on that. IWM still holding up well, and I don't see any signals here right now of imminent failure or danger. Um, so let's watch that close. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX yesterday had a little bit, right there at the end of the day, had a little bit of increase in fear. That fear was starting to creep in. We're holding this level of support down here. But it was such a small move that well, it could easily be reversed today. All we need is something good in those um, earnings or economic reports, and that could reverse itself right back down there. What I think we're actually looking at more than anything is we're just holding on to this price support in here, and we may actually set up a little bit of a chop zone right in here on the VIX. Just fear kind of remaining very, very low as this Santa Claus um, uh, market seems to be... Uh, still very very bullish and no signs of those bears really stepping up in here so obviously we have to keep an eye on this so that fear really starts to creep in but as of right now not really seeing that all that much futures continue to bounce around here this morning we've we're, we're bullish we're bearish we're bullish we're bearish we're just kind of bouncing around um in in the numbers this morning and uh, just really kind of floating along that flat line and honestly that's kind of what happened overnight asian markets closed mixed mostly down but mixed um as their central bank you know kept rates the same bank of england this morning um, also made the decision to keep rates um, flat uh, keep them the same and European markets are just kind of bouncing around the 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 zero line there just trying to fit you know figure out where their footing is no nobody seems to be all that interested in really pushing very very hard so a little bit of bouncing around in those futures and it may all come down to those economic reports coming up so let's take a look at t2122 and then we'll take a peek at those economic reports. T2122 is that four week new high, new low ratio. And you can see yesterday, it just tiny little creep up yesterday in um, in the market, even though we had a little bit of pullback right at the end of the day, those key stocks kind of held up in here and we creeped up just ever so slightly. As you can see, we still have plenty of upside room um, if we do happen to find some bullish inspiration and if we happen to get some bearish inspiration obviously we have a big open hole down here if those bears decide to wake up and do something we'll just have to keep a close eye on that keep an, an eye on that vix watch that fear if that does begin to occur let's take a look at um that economic calendar that may have a few things to say about the overall market uh, this morning. First, at 8.30 a.m. this morning, we have both jobless claims. Now, that's a, a normal Thursday number. I don't think anyone is expecting jobless claims to completely reverse to the downside or, or give us a big surprise. So I doubt that's going to provide any negative reaction. We have the Philly Fed survey, which certainly can move the market substantially. So we'll want to keep an eye on those, both at 8.30. And then following that at 10 o'clock maybe the bigger number of today would be uh, and possibly the more of a market moving number would be the existing home sales coming in so if they hold up strong economy continues to hold up strong then we should be pretty good overall I can't see the bears really getting too fired up if these numbers remain healthy this morning keep in mind we have the natural gas report here at um, 10 30 and we have a fed balance sheet at 4 30 but wouldn't expect those to move the markets at all today 
So uh, we could also see after the morning rush, we get that morning pop, that morning energy. Don't be too surprised to see if we just kind of slip right back into a light choppy consolidation. Remember, holidays are coming. Volume is lightening up. Uh, folks are starting to travel and go to their, you know, traders are starting to back away. They're closing out their year. So just kind of keep that in mind. Even after we get all of this news, we might get a morning bump and we might be able to break out of this little consolidation, either up or down. But then expect, I kind of expect the market slipping back into a light choppy range and just kind of drifting around for the rest of the day. Um, I, I'm not trying to predict that. I just kind of expect that based on what I've seen in the past. Let's watch that close. Anything is possible, but um, don't be too surprised if that does occur. Remember, we have GDP numbers tomorrow. That GDP number is a really big number on Friday morning. That could really move us around, and perhaps the market will just wait until that GDP number uh, comes out. Let's take a look at our uh, earnings today. We do have some earnings that could move the market around here just a little bit. And as you know, um, at the end of the day yesterday, we had um, MU, whoops, MU reported and MU reported just good enough to move the market a little bit higher or move its stock a little bit higher here. So we're gapping up here this morning on MU. I placed another resistance target right about here on that chart. So keep an eye on that. It's moving up this morning it may help that NASDAQ as it moves up a little bit. Let's take a look at some of the other stocks like RAD. Red reporting today, and you can see they're gapping up this morning, clear up here. Red must have had a very good report moving higher, so let's keep an eye on that. Um, ACN, ACN is reporting today. Uh, not seeing much in that price movement right now that would suggest that they've already reported. Maybe they have, but I, I, honest, I honestly think that's this afternoon. We have ConAgra. Um, ConAgra uh, looks like it has reported very well, uh, breaking through this little resistance up here, pushing all the way up into here into a next level of resistance. ConAgra moving up sharply this morning after its report. Uh, Darden Restaurants reporting this morning. They're gapping lower, substantially lower. They must have missed pretty ugly. Um, FDS get you some flowers for the holiday I guess no report on here that I can see at big wide bid ass spread looks like they could be uh, looking for that to occur anytime and then Nike Nike reporting and it looks like Nike trying to move just a little bit higher this morning um, on those reports so a lot of back and forth here a lot of things going on in uh in those earnings reports but whether it'll be enough inspiration to really move us around much i don't know um taking a look at the futures right at the moment as as i talk they were up a lot uh, well they were all positive uh just a few moments ago now dow futures are up 12 points while while the s p 500 futures are just slightly down by a point and a half now NASDAQ futures also down three and a quarter points. So nothing major here. We're just kind of floating around that flat line, as I said. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day in your trading, and I want to wish you great success. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could do me a favor, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and um, also click that bell icon when that pop-up comes up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. I hope, hopefully what you've seen in these videos is my intention is never to be predictive or anything like that. It's not to be uh, full of hype. Um, like you might see in other places, trying to predict a direction and, you know, puffing out my chest that I'm the greatest trader in the world. Truth of the matter is, guys, I'm not. I'm just like everyone else. I look at the technicals of the chart and I look for those good quality clues that can help me decide how I want to approach the market for today. Now, that has worked for me for nearly 15 years to be able to trade the market full time. And if you find these, uh, these videos to be helpful, if you 
you could do me another favor, click that thumbs up button and leave a comment. Um, it doesn't have to be anything fancy, a brief comment of some kind. Heck, you can even leave an emoji. That that counts. Um, so any comment, and, and by the way, thank you to those who take the time to do that. You guys are awesome, and I truly, truly appreciate it. So with that, let's take a look at some stocks that might be setting up. But please keep in mind, I want to remind everyone that anytime I show stocks that may be setting up in here, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. Anytime you make a decision on a stock, it's your decision and you need to evaluate that chart and, and that trade very carefully. to to decide whether it fits you, it fits your risk tolerance, it fits your goals and your trading plan. So keep that in mind when you look at these charts, they are not a recommendation to buy or sell anything. One of the charts I've been keeping an eye on is Monster Beverage. Now Monster's been in this nice um, run up and um, was looking at this little consolidation across here. Let me put this line in. Looking at that little consolidation right there to see if it can hold this trend and maybe pop on through. And it popped yesterday and then pulled back. One of the things I think that could occur here, and I'm just guessing, that this could slip back down and still move over to its trend. So this is one for that watch list, something to pay attention to. Monster's been holding up this nice upside trend. And it's also possible we could be reacting here to the resistance in that chart need a little bit more inspiration to move this on up but I've been keeping an eye on that chart take a look at THO THO yesterday this is what I call a pop out of the box pattern let me explain that for just a second um, first the only way we can have a good pop out of the box pattern is we have to already be in a current trend so THO, beautiful current trend, everything working out nicely there. Then we need that resting consolidation where we have at a minimum of four days of tight consolidation. Now they typically appear in, in areas at or near price resistance or at or near price support levels and they always appear within that trend. The, pot, the good ones uh, appear within either a bullish or bearish trend. So what we had here is we had THO just banging its head against it, re this resistance. It was just knocking on the door, trying to find out whether it, somebody would open it on the other side. And yesterday that decision was made. We popped through that resistance level. Now this is a pretty big level here in the chart. Popping through there may be significant. So keep an eye on this stock. As it pops through that level, any rest consolidation in here could be an opportunity that holds that support, could be an opportunity to catch some nice upside in this trade. Keep in mind, it could follow on through today to the upside. We'll wanna watch that pretty closely. Uh, but Ticho, um, actually very, very nice uh, looking chart here overall. Take a look at Harley Davidson. Harley Davidson is starting to show some signs of bullishness here. And first off, we have this really nice little trend going on here in this chart. And we broke down in this longer, this little chunky, nucky, yucky little downtrend and uh, broke it down. But now we finally moved up, created that higher low and right in here we're catching that support in this area and we're trying to show bullishness to the upside i would put some resistance on this chart maybe up in here but a move up in there looks like a possibility any rest or consolidation in here could set up that opportunity into harley davidson it might be moving on higher keep an eye on that chart um, take a look at microsoft Microsoft pulling back just ever so slightly after a beautiful move up and we're holding in this incredibly strong trend and, and Microsoft has been trending for um, a few years now and as you can see this nice little consolidating uh, or nice little breakout here as we pull back toward this trend we want to watch for an opportunity that next opportunity to maybe get into Microsoft so one of the things that I do as a traders I'm always looking for those stocks that I, I and not I don't want to chase the stock popping today 
I want to be looking for those stocks that are setting up and prepare to enter those stocks ahead of time. So I want to watch that trade potentially develop, watch for that opportunity into that position. And this is and that's exactly the kind of trade that um, I brought up here a couple of days ago in Signet Jewelers. The stock was still pulling back and I said, let's watch that close in this pullback. If we can find some support right through this area, if we can find some support and hold and buyers step back up, there may be an opportunity here. And that's kind of what we got. Now, please keep in mind that this could still find a little bit more pullback or consolidation in here. And the reason I say that is if I draw a trend here, this may need just a little bit more time to settle itself. That's a pretty steep move up pretty steep pullback may need a little bit more time to settle its nerves in here but keep an eye on signet jewelers looking pretty good overall and last but not least today i'm running over time last but not least i am still keeping an eye on cgc even though cgc did have a pretty good push down yesterday um, unfortunate that it pushed down yesterday but i think as long as we can hold on to this price support in here, we may be okay. And I'm watching this 50 day moving average. If we can hold that 50 day moving average, get some buyers to step back up in here, then I will uh, be more interested in that trade. We don't wanna see it slip back below that 50 day and certainly don't wanna see it slip back below this downtrend that we finally broke out of. So let's watch that close. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all the very best of trading today. And if you're struggling as a trader, I want to encourage you to never give up. Keep up the effort. You know, for years and years and years, I struggled. I mean, I really struggled. And I'll tell you the honest truth. <clears throat> there were times when I wanted to give up. There were times when I thought, I'm never going to get this figured out. There were times when um, I just... I felt like I had made every possible mistake in the book. So if you're in that situation where you feel like you just aren't, aren't breaking through on that, I want to encourage you not to give up because I got to tell you, um, it's worth it. It's worth it. If you can ever figure this out, if you can figure your way through um, through this and create that business where you can trade full time for a living, believe me, it's worth it. So don't give up, everyone. Stay with it. Stay with that. Um, and if there's anything we can do to help, we'd love to talk to you about that. Everyone take care. Have a great day. We'll see you all right back here bright and early Friday morning. Wish you all the best.